So I have another update. This time it's on just one gun, the Jedi Spread X for Storm. And um I think in the last update I said it was working fine, but it actually stopped working. Not necessarily stopped working, but the performance in the range was uh pretty piss poor. What happened was uh I could not conclude what was causing it, but there's a really bad compression issue with the gun and the BBs would keep hitting the ground and BBs would fall off the barrel and they weren't going very far at all. I still didn't correct it all the way, but I did kind of make it a little better. And uh, it definitely shoots a lot better, so there'll be a little shooting at the end of the video. So I didn't take any pictures of the technical stuff inside the gearbox because I would take the picture on my iPhone and my hands were covered in grease, so I couldn't really do that. But to do a rundown of what I thought was wrong with it was the cylinder and the piston were not compressing correctly. So, in theory, so when you're testing the compression, you put your finger over the nozzle of the pist of the, the cylinder head and you have the cylinder attached to that and then you put the piston in and it's really hard to push that means you got good compression and mine was a uh, a little better but I was doing a little research on the forums and talking to people and I actually have a G&G &G, um, electric blowback cylinder in there because it had better compression than the original piston because the piston got scratched when the tooth on this one broke so the cylinder is G&G &G and it's a lot better and I turned it around because that uh, blowback hole was losing too much compression. And I had tape over that and it didn't stop the, the air from coming out that well. I also thought it might have been the barrel. And it probably is a little bit to do with the barrel and the hop-up. So I might try a different hop-up in this gun. So I got even better compression when I switched out the O-ring on the piston head. Yeah, the piston head. I switched it out and I got way better compression. It was actually a lot loose fitting. It was really loose. And I had the G&G &G stock spring. It was really stiff. This spring right here is really stiff. And it's actually like longer than the Jelly Spreader gearbox itself. So it was extremely stiff. And it was hitting pretty hard. It actually fit in the gun and it cycled just fine. I mean, I'm surprised that the original motor has enough torque to pull that thing back. And it, I'm, I'm impressed with this gun because original Chinese motor and it keeps up a very high rate of fire and it also has enough torque to pull back that spring and stuff but I actually put the original spring in there just because it was a pain in the ass to keep putting that one in there I actually took this gun apart two times in a row on the like day to day back to back fixing this gun and it took me like three full hours to do because this gun is an extreme bitch to work on to get to the gearbox just takes forever and then the gearbox itself is really tough to put together and springs, anti-lock up, gears falling out. I re-shimmed it. It's got pretty good shims in there. I think the gears are G&G &G or, or Classic Army or TM. I'm not sure, but they're steel and they're better than the original gears. Original gears were steel, but they were not nearly as good as these. They're pretty good. They are heavier, but this gun has a really fast rate of fire now. Now that I got the fully charged LiPo and Dean's plugs, the rate of fire is really fast. Here's on semi. Really fast trigger response on this thing. Sort of, well I wouldn't say instant, but it's really, really a big improvement from before. Then here's full auto. It's really fast. It's almost, it's so fast that I could barely tell when, when, when uh, the piston strikes and when it strikes again. I can't even tell. It just sounds like a, like a mess of too fast. So this this is pretty much the fastest this gun's ever shot, and um, I think it's shooting too fast to even feed the BBs. So I'm gonna go outside and shoot it, and I doubt it'll even feed right because of that insane FPS. But I'm planning on using this as a DMR, so I definitely have to switch out that barrel, the inner barrel, and uh, I'm gonna use it in semi-auto because uh, I just think it was more uh, more shaped for it. It's kind of a heavy gun, and it's I don't know. I think it make a good DMR nonetheless. So it's had the original uh, cylinder head, and I took an O-ring from this thing, this ASG Ultimate Upgrade Cylinder Head. Yeah, so this thing cost me twenty dollars on Evike, and it didn't even fit. It's version four, it's version seven gearbox for an M14, which is the style of this one, and it didn't even fit. So. That pissed me off, $20 wasted, but I took an O-ring off of it and put it on, on the cylinder head. I don't think it made just much of a difference, but it's definitely going to be a little better. 
And one more thing I did to it since the last time you've seen it was I put the plate back on the gearbox shell because the cylinder looked like it was moving or it was coming out. So I put the security plate on there and now the charging handle is uh, it's more secure. It feels more stiff, it feels better quality and it's not rattling around like it was before. It wasn't rattling around while shooting it or moving it. You know, I mentioned in the review that if you grab it and shake it around, it would tingle around and stuff or whatever. Now it's uh, a lot firmer. That has nothing to do with performance wise, but uh, these Dean plugs, I highly recommend you buy Dean plugs because they are extremely good. I've never had such good trigger response. And to be honest with everyone watching this, this shoots a million times better than the King Arms Thompson and it also shoots better than the FN2000. That's right, I said it. It shoots better than the FN2000. FN2000 spring, I can hear it in there and it sounds like it's I don't know, it just makes a terrible sound. It's not as fast, and I don't know if it's as consistent, but they're both running on Deans. The FN's on Deans, and this is on Deans, and so far, this gun's working better on Deans. So I'm going to go out in the backyard, and I'm going to shoot it on uh, semi and full auto. I don't think it's going to feed on full auto, but we will see.